hey, Star Wars, this Game of Thrones thing may not be a good idea. Nerd Soul. Late ill kid at one youngster holding it down, bringing the street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people, today? Oh, yeah. We're coming with another wonderful episode of Dropping Jewels. During the week, we can't get to it all, but we try to sprinkle it in this show. And today, I want to talk about Star Wars, who has now got the writers and producers from Game of Thrones, uh, Benioff, I'm sorry if I messed up your name, and Weiss to kind of come in and shepherd a new kind of trilogy or series of movies that would be aside from Ryan Johnson stuff and would also be aside Skywalker stuff. So there would be three sort of sets of movies going on as well as maybe the anthology films as well. That's not clear, but probably so, I'm assuming. Now, from a business standpoint, this looks like a good look. I mean, Kathleen Kennedy is probably like, yo, man, Game of Thrones is on fire. People are loving it. It's killing, you know, all kinds of like records and everything. And everybody's loving it. And this is going to be money. It's going to be, it's going to be the attention. It's going to be everything that we want. It's like getting a star player on your team. But if you know anything about sports and kind of fit it into this narrative, just because you throw money at the problem doesn't mean those players can actually play. And it also means that sometimes that doesn't mean that those players are a good fit for that team. And in this case, that's where my first issue with this comes in. Weiss and Benioff, these guys, and I'm gonna just call them the duo because I'm pretty sure I'm screwing up their names. So I'm sorry about that. Guys, don't jump at me in the comments. I really don't know how to pronounce it, but the Game of Thrones duo, I'll just say that, might not be a good fit for Star Wars. And here's why. First of all, they haven't seemed to make or pitch anything that has been Disney or family friendly. Now, I know you have films like uh, Rogue One, uh, where it was definitely a little rougher in tone, a little a little more adult, but it, it didn't go past the part where it was unsafe for children. Game of Thrones, I would definitely say, is super unsafe for children. Here's why. Um, one, Game of Thrones has a diversity issue. So every time you see Game of Thrones, you really see what is termed as white exceptionalism or uh, the white savior syndrome. Uh, in the storylines, you see all of these societies backed by Eurocentric people, very, you know, doing very well, they have structure, blah, 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 but when you see people of color, they're usually uh, shown in the light of savagery, or they're savages, or they're, you know, they're, so, they're, they're not evolved, and, you know, they're all just, you know, warlike tribes or something, and there's no civility to them. Then there's also the problem that Game of Thrones has with women, and that's the problem where most of their women have to be either uh, sexually assaulted or in some form of torture or rape to be able to to come into their own or be strong or something or use you know some kind of like uh, you know revenge sex or something to kind of gain their position and that's it's just horrible to be able to push that it's just a bad idea so it's bad for people of color it's bad for women well it's also bad for white people because see this exists as something which is called also white escapism, which we'll go back to before for white exceptionalism, and of course, also white savior complex. In this case, it provides a, a fantasy world where it's like, oh, you know, this is how things really work, and you're used to seeing it so much that you're like, oh, all I see is people of color being savages, or this is how women should be treated, or it's okay to see women treated like this, or okay to see people of color treated like this, and it becomes a negative effect on the person watching it, in this case, the person who is looking for some white escapism, and it might not be a good look. So you're wondering, why would I bring all those things up? Well, because these are the things that we have as a great example of what the Game of Thrones duo can do. And lately, Star Wars has been driving very far from weight, that type of stuff. So my question is, are they going to be able to form their works to Star Wars, or will they be pulling Star Wars back into a more torture-porny, adult 
horrible situation kind of atmosphere. And I'm not sure if Star Wars is ready for that, if Star Wars needs that, or if this is good for Star Wars. Now, I do have a couple of other reasons, but let that matriculate in your head for just a second. And of course, Cure Brand gonna help us pay them bills. Yeah, check that link below. Hats, shirts, hoodies, all that for CureBrand.com. And once you see something you like, copy. Now we've talked about how Game of Thrones puts, you know, people of color in a bad light, puts women in a bad light, and it's bad for the people that kind of enjoy it because of how it will affect what they expect from other forms of media and their other kind of like movies and TV shows and all that stuff. So we've gone that route. And Star Wars, that should be good enough, but also, this has a negative impact on diversity behind the screen. Um, in this case, you have another group of white men coming in to work on Star Wars. Now, I know that we've been trying to sprinkle a little diversity on camera. You know, we've had, you know, uh, Rose, we've had Finn come in, and we've been able to see some women and people of color, you know, speckled throughout, you know, the, the starfighters and things of that nature. But by and large, behind the scenes, this is still run by white men. And this was a great opportunity to bring in or shepherd in another talent uh, that's either a woman or you know, a person of color or something like that, to shepherd them in and give them an opportunity. And I know the first thing you guys will say is that, hey, those people aren't proven. Well, technically, the Game of Thrones duo isn't proven either. See, here's why. Because Game of Thrones is really, right now, all they have to hang their hat on. And I know you might, guys might say, oh, back in 1991 they did this. Hollywood is about what have you done for me lately. And there are many women right now that are killing the game. So they're doing something lately. And what they're doing lately doesn't have to do with women getting raped and tortured and beat up and using revenge sex to be able to be empowered. Oh, also, speaking of lately, when given a chance to develop something outside of Game of Thrones, which would be something like Star Wars, you'd be like, oh, well, you know, hey, maybe Game of Thrones is, is just, they're just following the books. So, man, if they were given their own chance, they would make something different. Well, when they were given their own chance, they came up with this idea and pitched this show to HBO called Confederate, or I think Confederacy. And the idea was that, you know, the Confederate War, the Civil War didn't really go down how it did in history. And guess what? Slavery still exists. Look, man, come on. Look, we don't need none of that. If, you're, if your best idea after Game of Thrones is, hey, what if slavery was still going on? We don't need that in Star Wars. So for the most part, this is a good idea business-wise. But for the atmosphere, for the tone, for the people that you're actually pushing to because this has been by and large a family related property and for Disney this is a horrible idea it's it's bad from beginning to end it's it's just not good for Star Wars it's not what Star Wars needs and it's about time for some women to get an opportunity to direct some Star Wars I mean come on man it, it don't take that long I mean Kathleen Kennedy is a woman that's running Lucasfilm. I mean, she don't know no women. I mean, come on, what, what is going on over there? Look, guys, look, I, look, peep your boy, all right, right here, peep your boy. This is a bad idea. Go on, now I know you just made the announcement, you're excited about it, so you can't go back on it right now. Do what you did with the old Han Solo movie. Let it, let it get down, let it die down, get quiet, and then just let it fade away. Because trust me, man, this is a horrible idea for Star Wars. It's a horrible idea for Star Wars fans. And it's a horrible idea for the lore and the canon as well. So guys, in them comments, holla at me. I'm going to holla at you. Let's talk about Star Wars. Let's talk about Game of Thrones and the writers coming on and how it's a bad idea. Or if you think it's a good idea, tell me why. So anyway, before I bounce, I got to tell you guys, that nerdsoul.com is where you need to go to check out all my videos from the Oldest Lewis, Ladies Greatest, and all that. Then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. And don't forget to get one for them players.
then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nurse hole. That's right, there's no better way that I can show people that you like what you are watching. So, LA, what up? VA, what up? RVA, you got my heart, and please be good to yourselves. Please be good to each other, and remember, yo, just because someone is very popular doesn't mean they're a good fit for your organization. Peace.